Hi Cancer, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel and this is your general energy reading for mid-July. It's also the full moon, so your full moon mid-July energy reading. It is general, so take it how it resonates with you and your life and your situations and your experiences. Disregard the rest and it is focused on the etheric and the energy. So anything revealed about outside yourself is really just to help you gain balance, clarity and understanding within yourself as you move forward kicking ass at life. And we will go ahead and get started. I want to say that I had previously started your recording and then I had something else come up. Um, but the message that was coming through was about, um, about different aspects of yourself and an aspect, a side of yourself that you might be viewing, not necessarily as a positive part of you. Um, but it is, and it's that fierce protector hunter energy that you're just kind of like, I don't know. On the bottom of the deck, you got shaman with trust in higher forces and stargazer, set your sights higher. So kind of going back to the energy that I was talking about. Um, so what I was but I was shown, if I can find it, I don't know where it went. I'll just grab a new one. Okay, so what I was being shown is if, like, this is the energy that cancer always chooses. This is the conscious, focused energy of every day, every day embodiment. This compassionate, understanding, loving energy, right? And that's one aspect of it. And I want you to kind of look at this. So take this coin. And this is the side that Cancer likes to be on. This is the side that Cancer chooses to be on. Because Cancer loves this energy. It makes Cancer feel great. And it is great. There's two sides to that energy of you, though. And it always comes. And so the other side is that Hunter the track down your fears to protect you know take care of everything this is the side that you have and it's just as powerful because they're beautifully matched as the other side that you choose to always embody when this energy comes up and you feel this energy coming out to make itself known please understand that it is a beautiful energy this is part of you and it is the other side of this energy and if it's coming out on this end for a reason, trust whatever that is going on inside you. Trust that intuition. Trust that gut feeling that says, oh, it's time to get and, and stand tall and, and protect and defend. And I don't even want to say that there's any defending. That's why you're kind of nervous about this energy is because this energy is good. This energy is just going to take care of the problem, cut the head off. It don't matter what it is. This side of you is masterful, just as masterful as this side of you. So if you are wondering how this side, like, am I embodying this all nice and good? You'll know how great your the job you're doing due to the fact of how aware you're, uh, you are of just how powerful this aspect of your energy is. Now, the reason why I keep flipping it back and forth is because this is an energy that you chose not to get into the gray with, right? You got the spectrum, you got like the dark and the light, you know, black and white, it doesn't matter. And normally in a lot of things, you want to find your balance within the gray area. Where are you comfortable in, right? And that's when the, the spin happens. But I want to say in the energy that I am discussing with you, it's almost like this, having it like this is the most compassionate way of having the energy because you can go around and it's non-destructive. You can, you know, go and sit it here and do the beautiful loving work there. You can take it and sit it here and do the beautiful loving work there. The same thing with the other side. It's not chaotic. It's not in a movement. It's controlled. You've got control over these aspects of yourself and that's a high ass mastery. Good job. But at the same time, when this other aspect of you comes out, you can sit it down here and it does what it needs to do here. You can sit it down here and it can do what it needs to do here. And that is why it is not spinning. 
because when you're somewhere balanced in the gray, it's able to flow wherever it wants to flow. That's not the, that's, that's, <clears throat> these energies are meant to be mastered. These energies are meant for you to, to master them. All right, we're going to go ahead and get some more cards really quick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I don't know if that was the main purpose of this reading, but I feel like that that was very important for you because it's kind of had you nervous, almost like in a sense like you weren't, like you weren't, um, because the other side of it was needing to come out or is needing to come out. Thank you. On the bottom of the deck, you got music harmony. Yes. So if this message is resonating with you, then it's already made sense. Like, oh, that made, oh, man, I'm very happy. DNA karma coming in. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. With crystals and focus. Remember what I told you? You got, you got that energy really good and focused. You're masterful at it. Fire and passion and strength in mountains. Okay. Nope, this is still talking about those energies. This is talking, now I'm hearing about the other energy speaking to you. Oh, well, you're just way too harsh, blah, blah, blah. Nope, you're not way too harsh. If you were to alter this side of your energy, it also alters this side of your energy. Remember, it's two sides of the same damn coin, okay? Anybody and anything that's like, no, you're cruel, right? Mm-mm. The only one that's cruel to them is themselves, right? Because you are always focused on choosing being in this energy. And so, like I said, if your intuition, your gut has the other energy taking the spotlight, there is a reason for it. And it's not, not anything to do with you. It has to do with you being all this strength and this powerfulness and standing in your own. But how it's affecting others, that's on them. You no play in that. No, no. No, no. You keep focusing and intending, right? You are gaining your mastery. Set your sights higher. Set your sights higher. Wouldn't it be so amazing if you were surrounded by people that are always intentionally choosing to embody this energy as well? Instead of going, well, when can I get this energy riled up? You know? Um... I want to say I'm not seeing it as a wildfire or anything, but I'm seeing it as a constant. It's almost like as you get your passion, the fireplace just continues to go and it continues to go. Um, and as you breathe deeply into your beautiful mastery energy that is yours, just, just trust because I really kind of, the other message, the last message, right, for you has to do with this energy, this beautiful shamanic energy coming in, this ancient healing wisdom, trust in higher forces. Your now here's here's the, the great thing, right? Like I said, this is you, and this is also you. And as you can see, this energy is pretty damn in control it's got a really good focus and you just keep that because everybody else is accustomed to going like accustomed to going like that um and used to not being chaotic any kind of conformity being shot your way is to really because it it stems from a sense of um inadequacy on their own part they don't feel like that they are able to match you or keep up with you. And therefore, they're going to try to get you to lower your lower yourself. I have no other way to explain it because although they might be doing it from a real subconscious, no intention of like devalu evaluating 
devaluing you, um, I'm going to say that you're already here. And what I want to say is right now, this is my energy coming out for you. Because any kind of, oh, slow down, don't go there yet. Like, oh, mm -mm, you worked your ass off, Cancer. You worked your ass off to get to this balanced, beautiful mastery state. You're not throwing your coins every damn where anymore. And that just hit me in the ass. Right? Don't you like not getting hit in the ass anymore? I know, right? So just kind of like, you know, roll around in this energy because you did great. And don't worry if no one else is able to roll around in it with you. I'm rolling around in it with you and you're doing great. And we're going to leave it at that before I get a little bit more, you know, before I get, yeah, get even more like, screw you other energies. I love you guys. I really hope that that helps you.